What originally got me interested into powerlifting was my father, actually. Um, my sophomore year in high school, my dad originally introduced me into weight training. Uh, I would, I, I mainly just went into the gym just to get back and get, get into good shape, uh, help me with my baseball skills so I can throw harder and faster. And then when the coach decided to cut me from the baseball team, I guess I uh, took all my anger out that I had for the coach and then everything that happened with the school. And um, I took it all out in the weight room. And um, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I can bench press so much weight now. When I first started bench pressing, I would do it on the Smith machine because I had no balance at all. I couldn't even put 10 pound plates on each side because I couldn't balance it and I couldn't do it. And then eventually throughout the months, that was a goal of mine was to finally put a 45 pound plate on the bar and do a few reps with it. And uh, you know, eventually I put on the 45 pound plate, I started repping it out and then from there on out I just kept adding 45 pound plates to each side. Well, training for a bench press competition is uh, actually a lot different than bodybuilding training. I just do uh, different rep ranges. For instance, uh, on the bench press, instead of doing the typical 15, 12, 10, 10, or, or whatever uh, everybody does for bodybuilding training, I'll do, um, I'll do my first set, I'll do five reps. My second set, I'll do three. Uh, my third set will be a double. And then I'll do a, like five sets of singles after that and I'll work my way up to a heavy set. I'll probably, if my one rep max is 430 pounds, I'll work my way up to 430 pounds that day. And every week I'll, I'll try and increase it by five to 10 pound increments. And uh, I'll do that all the way up to the meet. Obviously my calves aren't gonna be you know, huge and my, and my quads aren't gonna be like everybody else's. But I, I do it because I want to show everybody out there that you can do it, you know what I mean? There's no excuse not to do something. Like your leg day should be a leg day, it shouldn't be a rest day, you know what I mean? And, and it just drives me nuts when people make excuses or they, they say they, they don't want to or, or something. Because for me, there's no excuse ever not to do something and it was funny when I when I first went on the squat rack I, I do it on the Smith machine and the reason why I do it on the Smith machine is because of safety reasons because if anything was to ever go wrong let's just say I was to fall I I, I don't want to you know die or anything like that and break my neck but when I first went on the Smith machine it was like the whole gym just started they went crazy and they just started looking at me and they couldn't believe it and um, Everyone, even on social media, on Instagram, they're always passing judgment and saying, oh, why do you train legs? Or, well, what's the point of you even doing that if you can't even feel it? You know, that, that's just all, that's ignorant to say because, I, you know, I, I have two quads, I have two hammies, I can feel it. It actually does benefit me. I may not get the, the size that everyone else gets, but it benefits me with my walking, you know, walking around 220 pounds all the time with one knee because I only have one knee. Uh, one of my knees is actually a mechanical knee, it's a computerized knee, and I have one real knee that actually doesn't even work that well because I damaged it playing baseball with all the stress I, I put on it with pitching. So when people say, oh, there's no point in you doing it, you can't feel it, that, that's just so ignorant to say they're just making excuses for themselves on why they don't train.